Haircuts! The children all need haircuts. It's getting out of hand. Tadpoles is so heavy that he finds it hard to stand. Greta started keeping books and pencils in her hair. Bunyan's rat has made itself a warm and cozy lair. Mummy's had enough. And to the hairdresser they go. They sit in matching chairs with matching mirrors in a row. They put the special gowns on, then sit back and relax. The stylists cut and brush and slip and style behind their backs. Soon their hair is finished. They do look smart and clean. I think these are the neatest grimes that I have ever seen. <laughs> Mummy has to pay now and goes up to the till. Tadpole grabs a bottle. I think it's going to spill. Pink shampoo goes everywhere. The kids jump off their chairs. They roll around in gunk and hair. Until they look like bears. Greta squirts the hairspray. Bunyan smears the gel. Tadpole Grime starts laughing. Then he joins in as well. <laughs> the three untidy children have become three hairy things. An Afghan cow, a polar pig, a sheep with fluffy wings. <laughs> the hairdresser is happy as they've cleaned the hairy floor. But Mummy Grime is furious. She drags them through the door. Magic bathroom. Help this mummy get these children home. We're going to need a hair wash. Then a giant magic comb. This wax is even stickier than super duper glue. But super duper magic bath can surely power through. Shampoo, then conditioner, then do it all again. Rinse away the bubbles till the water's clear. And then... Dry it off and brush the tangles out until it gleams. <laughs> and then it's time to go to bed and dream some hairy dreams. See, there really was no need for all that ballyhoo. It's better to be nice and clean, not caked in gunk and goo. Mummy Grime is happy now. She's smiling with delight. <sighs> Magic bathroom, say goodbye. Until tomorrow night. <laughs>